Hi, I'm Arthur. And I'm Andrea. And we are Heavy, Heavy Metal, Metal Beer, beer Club. Club. Today, we're not going to do an actual beer tasting, even though we are tasting some beers. We're uh, just coming over to Arizona Beer House because we get asked all the time, where do you get your beers? Where do you get suggestions? And just like with record stores back in the day, you would go to the record store, you would look around, you would also uh, trust in somebody that worked at the record store who was really into music and uh, you liked their taste and you would ask them, what would you suggest? What's something new? And for us, it's Arizona Beer House. We come here, this is where we get a lot of our beers for our beer reviews. We try new beers from their taps. And then uh, we also trust one of the beer tenders, Jack. So yeah. we're gonna talk to Jack. This is gonna be a lot of fun. So please stick around. Music! With our trusted beer tender here at Arizona Beer House, this is Jack. Hey, how's everybody doing? Right, so anytime we look at the board, we'll ask you about something and you know about it. Yeah. Wait, do you actually sit there and get to taste test? Absolutely. Um, usually after work, I'll sit there and look at ones that I haven't had. Because what's the point of me having a beer that right. I, can, I can tell you about one beer on that yeah. tap? Yeah. So I'll have a little bit here. And uh, yeah, it also helps with the people we work with. We're all, we get together, we have little beer shares, and we get to talk about the product, and it doesn't, it's not work. You oh, know? Yeah. We, we do this because someone wanted to pay us to talk yeah. about beer. We were already doing it. Yeah. So, yeah, it's a, I don't think anybody here is uh, ever really working yeah. too hard, if you know what I mean. Yeah. Exactly. It's, it's, do uh, what you love, yeah, you know? Absolutely. And it's not a job, right? I, one of the challenges I love about this place is when someone comes in and says, I don't like beer. Yet. <laughs> because I guarantee you I can find you something. You know, there's people yeah. in my exactly. life that swore they hated beer because they thought everything had to be like this, high alcohol, black oh, yeah. beer, tougher to drink for certain people with a lighter palate. But now I've got family members uh, that are drinking fruited sours that I thought they would never drink before. Exactly. And they thought, I never I never liked beer. Yeah. You didn't have the right one. Well, that's like that, that masagabe. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Tastes yeah. like a margarita. Yeah, yeah. exactly. I was, I was shocked. I mean, that does not taste like beer. Because there's a lot of no. people. It's, it's out. A lot of people, they don't like beer, but they love margaritas. Mm -hmm. Try this one. Yep. They'll, they won't believe it's a beer. Yep. I get a lot of people with that one. That's an easy sell to people that don't like that. They call it the beer taste. I think it's hops. You know, it's yes. better for certain people. Yeah. They need to get used to it. Absolutely. I hated IPAs the trouble. first time I drank mm -hmm. them, and then now it's like, oh, yeah. Oh, oh yeah. Pop your Us, face. too. And, and now you're, it's funny because Nando comes in here all the time. He Another musical guy. Time. Yeah, and he asked me one Nando. time. He said, okay, what was your intro beer? So I'm, I'm just going to pose that to you. I mean, you know, absolutely. Hey, I have mine. We're drinking Bud Lights and, and you know, uh, whatever they happen to have out of a keg at a party. Oh, yeah. But what was the beer where you so, went? Oh. It's funny because people that know me from when I was really young will know me that I hated beer because it was Bud Light, it was Miller Light, yes. it was it was not good beer. So I drank a lot of liquor, I drank a lot of okay. uh, a lot of whiskey, but then I found it was Newcastle. Newcastle uh, yeah, yeah, was Newcastle one that I thought, good. oh my god, that's got flavor to it. It's it's got a body. I feel like I'm doing something when I'm drinking instead of just next yeah, next water. And then after Newcastle, I went into um, Nut Browns. Uh, like, you know, Moose Jewel was a big one for yeah. for uh, obvious craft reasons. And then uh, I found Dunkles. So I started with, like, Newcastle, then Browns, and then Dunkles yeah. was a, a taste that I couldn't Is believe Dunkles was a beer. Dunkles from e England? That's uh, Germany. Yeah, oh, Dunkle Weiss. Okay. It's, it's a dark wheat beer. Yeah. Oh, the and Dunkles. that overly yeah. malted one. I just, I hadn't tasted that compared to what I thought beer was. Yeah. It was, it was mind-blowing. And then, you know, little by little, it was like, well, I like this beer, too. And now I, I can't think of a style of beer I wouldn't enjoy in the right setting. It's, Me too. Uh, I mean, everyone's got their preferences, but I'll drink what is good. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And I mean, that's, that's the fun of beer. You, there's so many kinds, and you, you drink it for the mood you're in. Yeah. And well, to me, it's also like I was saying with music. You bring me a beer that I might not have had, or you, and it's, right. it's your style. You're presenting right. something to me yeah. that you want to share. Yeah. And it's, it's fantastic. Yeah. And uh, anytime we have, we come in, Jack's always playing great tunes. You have, now you're, you're morning, it sounds like most of the time ska sort of stuff. Ska, reggae, yeah. I don't yeah. Uh, really have any other preferences outside of that. That's number one. Everything else that's not country, I can jam. You're always singing also, so you, you yeah. sing. Yeah, I, I was a singer in the band uh, once upon a time. Um, you know, life happens, but you know, the singing's never gone. It's just I do it in a much smaller form now, you know, kind of my own little 
bar top stage. Ew. And we just found out about the secret taps. Oh, yeah. So well, that's good. Yeah. Now, taking my record store, making my record store. You're going to have to cut that out, aren't Yeah, you? my record store <laughs> is references. It's kind of like, I, if you remember those record stores where they would tell you, oh, over here, we got the bootlegs. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, this yeah. This the good mm -hmm. stuff that nobody else it's has. It's true. Yep. Yeah. It's I'm a grateful dead recording that somebody recorded at the show. Oh, yeah. 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 So for me, that that's kind of, now that we know, you know, what's what's over there, like, uh-oh. I know. So, but, yeah, we, we won't get you up and do that for a run. <laughs> no. That's all it is, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, ju we'll just kind of go. And you'll be like, <laughs> yes, yes or no. Or... <laughs> okay. Give it the old gladiator thumb. We're and good then... with your other, gosh, they have 33 taps. Uh, 34 if you count the uh, coffee, 35 with the sarsaparilla, and then we've got one with wine, or two with wine and one with meat. So, I mean, there are 38 taps, wow. not too bad. <laughs> yeah, we come sometimes with people that they like a meat or a wine, yep. and so you always have something for mm -hmm. everybody. And a lot of people walk in and see 30 plus taps and get overwhelmed. That's where we come in, I think. Yeah. You know, where it's, if you knew what you wanted, my job wouldn't yeah. even be a job. You would just yeah. talk to a machine. Yeah. And we're like kids in a candy store. Mm -hmm. We see that whip board and we can't wait to see what's on there. And if you only have time for one or two, you want to make it a great one. You don't have time yeah. to look through and you right. know, I'll start at one and go down. Yeah, we yeah. always look. And then if I'm between, I, I say, okay, Jack, which is the best ground right now? What's the best lager? What's the best? Like? And he will always tell us and we know you can count on it. Thank you. You tell me your moods, <laughs> I can get you a beer. It's That's true. So you guys are uh, open seven days a week? Yep, we are at 365 days a year. Oh, wow. They don't ever make anybody work the holidays, but one of us always volunteers. You know, it's uh, as long as people want to come drink, we are here to serve. Yeah, and nice. it turns out everybody wants to drink every day of the year. That's yeah. awesome. <laughs> during Absolutely. COVID, too. Inclu including us. <laughs> yep. And they were open during the COVID time with the quarantine, and they would have tables set up. You couldn't drink in here. You had to wear your mask, but you to could come in only. and get to go. So yeah. it was awesome. It was nice having the doors open. I mean, not one person here had to go on unemployment. That's Everybody really got enough nice. hours and enough uh, pay to yeah. to stay open. Yeah. yeah. And that's a testament to our, our uh, crowd that comes in. I mean, oh, yeah. they, they wanted us here. But this yeah. is where you come to get the craft beers. Yeah. Everyone always asks me, where did you get that beer? We get it here. And you've got everything. And we know all of where everything's at, yeah, yeah. the loggers, the Mexican, the IPAs, the stuff. And every now and then you grab an employee and say, hey, what's what's new? Yeah, what, what's what am new? I missing out here? Yeah. Someone's right. got a favorite. Right. You know, it's, it's yeah, it's like a rental place. Yeah. 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 I just know where you your go. tombstones yeah. are, too. I yep, love, yep. We love those tombstones. Easy to find. And if you're in Tucson, Arizona, come to Arizona Beer House, people. We're here when you're thirsty. Cool. Thanks, Jack. Yeah, thank you, oh, guys. Thanks, I, I got a picture. Cheers. 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 And we wanted to make sure that we thanked Arizona Beer House and the crew there at Arizona Beer House for taking care of us, and especially Jack for taking time out of his busy day. Oh, and showing us the lounge. Oh, yeah. The lounge beers. Yep. Thank you, everybody. We had a great time. And thank you so much for joining us here at Heavy Metal Beer Club. <laughs> Cheers to you. Please stay safe, drink responsibly, and don't forget to stay, stay metal. Metal. God. It's so hoppy. Sort of it, color. It's so hoppy, it tastes like the Easter Bunny. <laughs> You're cut off. That's it. <laughs> I'm showing now. <laughs> no. <laughs> Cheers to you. Please stay safe, drink responsibly, and, and don't stay forget to stay metal. Stay sane. Stay sane, people. Stay, stay metal. The new saying is stay <laughs> sane.